deflected to the far boards. Back of the goal, Morovic. Around for Trocek, back to Schwartz. Return feed, Trocek. Other side, O'Connor. Shot, tip, scores! I think it was Schwartz. Morovic was down low as well. But 22 seconds into the power play, and the Spirit strike first. I'm not sure this doesn't go off Jonathan Jasper and into the net, as this puck was going well wide of the net. And I think it goes off Jasper's foot and into the net. O'Connor was definitely looking for a tip with this shot regardless and put it where some bodies were. Not going to quite catch it on that angle, but clearly, as you say, talk back to the line. Ackeson, high slot, shot blocked. Moore's going to get another chance. He shoots. End board, Karam. Oh, Ackeson puts it off the post. Skinner with the chance. And he is stripped in front by Jordan Skellett. The pressure continues. Skinner can't get a shot off, and this time the Spirit will get it out of the zone. For the period, Skinner around the back of the net, the wraparound, and Pasquale has seen that a few many times. The savvy Spirit netminder with the save. Kelly rings one off the outside of the post. The Rangers come to life late. Centering in front, and Skinner puts it just wide of the goal. We're into the final minute of the first, and the Rangers come up with another great chance. At the other end, Skellett across, they score! To Legan, buries it for the second spirit goal of the first period, and it's 2-0 Saginaw. Well, so often how's, uh, how it goes, Michael, chance at one end, come back the other way, in the back of the net, and some good a good pass by Sanderson starts us, and Skellett slides one down right underneath Kelly and right over to Telegan. Mackison tries to dig it free. Skinner's got it back now. There's a shot. Loose in front, they score! McKinnon's shot, banned home by Jason Atkinson. And the Rangers have their first goal of the 2010 playoffs. Well, some good work by the Rangers, keeping this puck in. Good battle along the board. Skinner comes out with it, gets it to McKinnon, who fires. Again, Pasquale unable to find it. Struggling a bit with those rebounds, and there was Jason Atkinson, Johnny on the spot to knock it in. The other way, with Chima Demore. Chima Demore, shoot! That is Amore! Well, Chima Demore and tip off. It looks like Chima Demore is looking past, looking past, looking past. And Pasquale backs right in, and Chima Demore able to fire one far side on Pasquale over the glove and make this a 2 2 hockey game. Not From Herman at Gildo. Kelly's back up, but he had to feel that one. Skinner around the net, waits, loses the edge, gets the puck back to Atkinson. Now Skinner again. Skinner maybe one move too many as Herman Agilda goes down for the block. Ackeson back to the line. Kelly, no shot. Moore, sharp angle, goes wide after it hits a stick. Back to the line. Kelly again. The shot, the save for Squally. And he'll hang on for a faceoff. Dan Kelly's got to get to the bench. His head must be buzzing. Masioli in the far corner, digs it free for tip off. Tip off. Down below the icing line, comes out circle. Across to Chima to In overtime, three, two, game one. Well, it took a minute 14, Michael, but credit Matt Tipoff for having the patience to walk out and find Chima Demore there. And Unbelievable play by Matt Tipoff as he's able to hold on to it. And there's the pressure of a guy who's been through the ringer and he's been through this. And there's the calmness, and that's what you need. And Chima Demore finishes it after a great play by Matt Tipoff.
Well, Torch, we talked about it from the get-go tonight, really, from shift number